If you plan to copy your information from your old drive to your new drive, both drives must be connected. As we walk through the steps to physically perform the installation, remember that your system will look different than the ones shown, and that's okay, the process is the same. Start off by shutting down your system. Now remove the power cable and battery. Note that the battery removal step only applies to laptops when it's possible to remove the battery. To see how to do this on your system, refer to your owner's manual. If the battery has been removed, hold the power button for five seconds, which discharges any electricity still in the system. Now it's time to open your computer's case. How you do this really varies from system to system, so consult your owner's manual for what you need to do. This process is different on a desktop versus on a laptop, so we'll show you both. You'll now see your computer's components. Ground yourself by touching an unpainted metal surface like the ones shown. Grounding protects your system's components from the static electricity that's naturally present in your body. It's an extra safeguard. Now locate your M.2 PCIe slot. It's usually easy to find in a desktop. In laptops, however, the location will vary and it might be under the bottom panel, under the keyboard, or on the side. Refer to your owner's manual for the exact location and to ensure that the M.2 slot is PCIe compatible, as every system looks slightly different. There might be a heat sink or screw that will need to be removed prior to inserting your new NVMe SSD. Hold the new crucial NVMe SSD carefully by the sides. Do not touch the gold connector pins. Align the notch with the ridge in the PCIe slot, then insert at a 30 degree angle, ensuring the drive is fully seated in the socket. Do not force the connection as this could damage your drive. To secure the drive, it might be necessary to insert the screw into the provided mount on the motherboard. Do not over-tighten the screw. After the SSD is securely seated in the slot, put your computer back together and reconnect the battery if it was removed. Turn on your computer, but remember, at this point, your computer is still booting off your old drive. You can either continue to the next video to see how to clone your old drive to your new, faster NVMe SSD, or you can do a fresh installation of your operating system on your new drive. If you are installing a fresh version of your operating system, skip to part four to see how you can make your SSD even faster.